Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a very large meal prep. I have never done this before. Well, not to this extent. And I am so excited to share it with you. It's one of the new things I want to do this year is create systems and routines that really support a more productive lifestyle. I already feel like I'm a pretty productive person, but I end up not putting my future self first. So we're gonna be doing that today. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I focus on all things homemaking here on my channel. And if that is something that you like hit the subscribe button and if you're returning it is so great to see you all right guys let's jump into this beautiful day Before heading out to grocery shop, I wanted to go ahead and get all of my recipes printed and ready to go so I could prepare my shopping list. I started using a printable that has all the food that I typically get during the week, and that seems to be working well for me. I will link mine down below if you guys are interested in it. The other thing I need to do is continue to stay hydrated, so I'm just going to be adding a little ice water and a lemon to this and just throw that in my purse. That way I continue to stay hydrated throughout the day. I drink a lot of water, normally, but I definitely don't bring it to things like the grocery store. So here I have all of my groceries that I'm going to be needing at the store and all of my recipes. Most of these recipes today, I think I, if I remember right, they're all my recipes. If they are, well, whether they're my recipes or not, I will link down the recipes that I chose this week. They were so good. Um, the cool thing is I ended up doing this a week ago, so I wanted to see how it functioned for me. And the really fun thing is my kids ended up loving the food I made and my oldest ended up taking them to school with him. So, so these are all really healthy, fresh meals that you can grab and go or just eat here at the house so that I don't reach for things that aren't super healthy. And then weeks where I do my bone broth cleanse, I will omit doing this. All right, guys, let's go ahead and head off to the store. On my way to the grocery store, I reminded myself that I needed to get gas. I also needed to get a quick car wash. My car is filthy all the time from driving in the dirt at the winery. And I just loved it that it told me to relax. So that was really lovely. Thank you to Ducky for a quick car wash. And now off to the grocery store. Take me to your heart. To prepare everything, I wanted to actually create almost like a workstation where everything could get prepped at one time. I didn't want to get super overwhelmed. I was afraid if I did that, that it would deter me from wanting to do this again, which um, was not the case in this scenario. It was actually quite easy to do all this. So the first thing I wanted to do was actually clean off the island because that's where I'm going to put all my prepped food when I start cooking. But the first thing we need to do is get everything laid out. I also got everything laid out and rechecked that I had everything. One time I was in the middle of making a dinner and I had gone to the grocery store but forgot the main ingredient. <laughs> so now I always make sure I have everything I need to cook a recipe. That way I don't end up having to go to the store in the middle of cooking. So we're going to get all of our strainers out and here's everything we're going to be using today for these recipes. Lots of green, fresh vegetables. I'm not a huge fruit person. I think, I think I've talked about this on my channel. I'm more of a savory, not sweet person. So, um, a lot of the recipes I have on my channel don't include things like sugar. So I do have some fruit for the kids for their lunch and I wanted to prep that for the week ahead as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is just get everything washed. I'm going to be adding a little bit of vinegar into this. You guys all said it was a great way to wash vegetables. So we're gonna try that today. It actually ended up working out really, really well. So thank you so much for those kind tips down below.
while my vegetables are soaking, I really like to let those soak for a couple minutes to get all of the stuff out of them. I wanted to get a couple pots boiling um, here on the stove. If you want to give this video a thumbs up, say hi to Ferruccio. He hung out in the kitchen with me most of this day. He's been actually hanging out around me so much more recently. You know, Enzo is usually the one that's kind of always at my feet, but Ferruccio wanted some extra lovies today. So definitely give him your love by giving this video a thumbs up. So for the broccoli and the green beans, I was actually prepping these for the week ahead. And the way I do this is you boil them in a pot of already pre-boiled water for about one minute and then let them soak in an ice bath. That way they stay really crunchy when you go to eat them, but they are fully cooked. I found out recently that broccoli is called an anti-nutrient. I don't know if you guys know this. I am almost 40 years old and I just found out that broccoli actually isn't that good for you. So it doesn't matter. I'm still going to eat it, but I was really interested to see that. Right now I am prepping my garden for 2024 for the spring months. So I'm trying to get everything I want to cook in there. Somebody once told me that you should plant your garden with things that make you excited to go harvest them. So that is the mentality that I have for this garden. But I was seeing if maybe this winter I could could grow broccoli because we're growing it at the winery and while doing research for that I found out that it's an anti-nutrient so there you go you learn something new every day so I didn't film putting the um, Brussels or the broccoli and the um, uh, string beans through that process, but it's very easy if you're looking to pre-prep vegetables. The other great thing is I did it with my asparagus and then we had a bunch of people come over for dinner and I was able to just reheat it really quickly with a little bit of fresh garlic and it was absolutely delicious and cut down on the work time because I had already prepped it while I was doing this big cook with me. So I'm gonna get everything washed up here. So I thought I would take a moment and share the different recipes that we're going to be making today. One is my Euro salad, which is my favorite. I ended up making a chicken Euros into a salad and into wraps. So my husband had some and I had some. I did a taco salad or like a Southwest salad and a bean and corn salad. I also did a Thai pork lettuce wrap, which was so good. You guys will absolutely love these recipes. And then I prepped a just really simple kind of um, crudite plate with some hummus. And then I did kind of like a cheese and charcuterie plate so that I could grab those if I wasn't looking for a really big um, meal, I just wanted a bite. So we're gonna prep all those together and get all of this put in the refrigerator. I can't wait to show you how it turns out. Here are all of our fresh ingredients ready to be prepped. Fruccio is crying. <laughs> I think he wants to go outside now. So I'm gonna go put him outside and we're gonna get prepping. So the way I like to cook typically is I like to prep everything ahead of time and then um, actually start cooking. And the only reason I like to do that is I feel like the key to kind of being a good chef is timing. So not speeding up the cooking process or forgetting to check something that's cooking. That's when, you know, you overheat something, burn something. Um, so I always like to pre-prep all my ingredients and I also find it just a little bit more calming. I, again, try to do things that uh, create a promote a much more calming environment so I'm not constantly struggling, stressing, running around. I feel like in the past I've always felt like I need to constantly be doing stuff and I find cooking to be a very cathartic and um, just peaceful process so we're going to take a little time and prep everything. Since I already know what recipes I'm prepping, some of these I'm prepping so like this um, these cucumbers, half of them are going to go into my uh, crudite plate and half are going to go into my euros. So it kind of just depends on what you're cooking. I'm going to prep everything a little bit different. Tell us 
us in the comments down below if you are a meal prepper, what are the types of meals that you like to prep? I've been doing some research on freezer meals. I have never been one to do freezer meals. I think honestly because at the end of my day, if you're new here, I have a full-time job. And so at the end of the day, when I go and pick the kids up from school and I come home, I find cooking in the kitchen while the kids are doing homework to be just such a peaceful part of my day that um, I don't know that I would be super happy. Like if I was not cooking, I would just end up being in the laundry room or I will always find something to do around the house because there's always something to do. We are a family of six. So I always find that cooking is like kind of my reward for the end of the day. I know that not everybody loves cooking, but for me, it's just something I really, really love. I thought it'd be nice to do a freezer meal maybe two days a week and then instead of using that time to be more productive around the house, giving that time back to the kids and doing more fun things. As they get older, um, they don't play like as much as we used to play, like we sit on the floor and play all the time, but now they're getting older, they play with each other, they go to the park, they go to their friends' houses, and um, I thought maybe it'd be nice if maybe I reallocated that time to having more quality time with the kids. I have found in my life that I always mistake being busy with being productive and it's not always aligned with the things that are important to me. So it's another big thing that I'd like to change this year. But anyway, I went off on a tangent there. Tell us in the comments down below, what meals do you like to prep? What are your lunch meals? If you do do lunch meal prep, which I am going to start doing because this was a really, really great way to stay productive throughout the week and continue to eat healthy things. But tell us in the comments down below, do you do lasagnas? Like what do you do for freezer meals? Do you do them? And um, do you find that they help you throughout the week? Well, my poblanos are cooking over there on a kind of a low simmer. I'm going to start to prep our uh, Thai beef uh, lettuce wraps. So to get started, I just have a little sesame oil, our ginger, and some onions in here. I also added a little chili uh, oil just because I like it spicy. I knew the kids weren't going to eat this. And then the last part you need to do is just create the sauce that's going to go inside. I love this dish. I did not have the spicy chili sauce. I really like to dip this in um, for this video, but I did end up picking it up. You can get it at Trader Joe's. My favorite version is the one from Trader Joe's. So after mixing up all the sauce, I'm going to use the same pan. I'm going to try to use as little and few things in the kitchen as possible to prep these dishes. So in between some of these, I did end up washing them and reusing them. But for the beef, we're just going to add the beef in, and then we're going to add in that wonderful sauce and add the onions and ginger right back. While that's cooking, I'm going to start to make our bean salad. I like to soak anything that comes out of a can. I like to soak and get all of that can juice out. It's just nasty, and I just like to clean it out the best I can. While the beef is cooking and those beans are drying out, I'm going to start making the seasonings for our euros. I I like to do chicken euros. I just, I'm not a huge fan of lamb, so I always use chicken, but feel free to use anything. You could even do beef in this, it'd probably still be delicious. I will link this seasoning down below, it's so good. This is actually really good if you just wanna make like chicken and for a salad or anything that's not euro, it's still super, super good. So we're just gonna add a little oil to this, and then I'm gonna actually chop up chicken thighs. I like to use chicken thighs instead of chicken breasts. I just feel like they have more flavor. So we're gonna chop those up, and I'm gonna actually let that sit for about a half an hour while we're cooking everything else. While the beef is finishing cooking, I'm going to throw those poblanos into the mixture that I'm going to be using for my bean salad. I love poblanos, and poblanos and uh, shish these shishito peppers were on sale at the grocery store, and I love them. They're one of those things in the garden that I absolutely love to harvest, so I ended up just making those to snack on. 
and I am going to chop the salad. Now that the beef is done, we're gonna add in that ginger and onion mixture, some green onions, cilantro, and some shredded carrots. Mix all of that up. This recipe is so easy, you can make this for dinner. Everyone in our family loves the lettuce wrap versions, but you could also put it inside of like a burrito form. I don't know why, but our kids just love making them with the lettuce wraps. I don't even think they realize they're eating lettuce, they just think it's fun. So I'll take whatever I can get when it comes to that. So to prep these, I just have these little dishes. I like to use glass, anything BPA free. I find that the plastic ones, um, especially when you're making adult food because it's more flavorful, tends to sometimes hold the flavor. So I try to only use glass when it comes to any type of food storage for things like this. So I'm just gonna be adding in this. I will try to link these down below. I found them at Whole Foods. They're Pyrex, um, these particular dishes. If you're looking for something similar, I'll try to link whatever uh, I can find down below, but they hold perfectly. And I'm just going to be doing two of everything today. That way I don't have too much. My kids were coming in here and eating, <laughs> eating some of this while I was prepping it. Um, but we're going to set that aside and we're going to start our chickens. It's been about a half an hour probably 45 minutes since the chicken's been sitting here. It's ready to go, nice and marinated. We're just gonna cook that down in a cast iron skillet. It is really easy, it'll cook on its own just like any other chicken. While that's cooking, we're gonna start our bean salad. I just have beans, corn, some bell peppers, poblanos, cilantro, and I'm gonna be adding some green onion to this because I had some left over, and we're just gonna put that into another Pyrex. What I like about this is you can actually use different dressings, so I have a jalapeno ranch I love that I used one day, and the second day I used Gerard's uh, champagne uh, dressing, which is my favorite. Um, I wanted to make my own ranch this particular day but ended up not doing it it just seemed like a bit of overkill I'm also going to add these um, avocados I put a little bit of lime juice on them they held up perfectly these were super delicious and very easy to make if you're looking for something really easy definitely just do a bean salad it's super easy to do the last thing I'm going to do is use a little tray to make um, just some veggie trays. I love vegetables. I pretty much, to be honest, I, I make this pretty much every single day to go to work, but except I just put it in a plastic bag, where now it's just a lot easier to just put all of it in here. The other thing is in the morning, I think you guys saw in a previous video, I woke up and ended up making my uh, lunch in the morning when I'm already kind of frantic and trying to get out of the house. So now I didn't have to do that. I still got to have everything in this little tray and I just went to grab it, threw it in my bag and headed off to work. I'm gonna be adding all kinds of things. Earlier when we blanched those, um, the broccoli and those string beans, I decided to add a couple of those in here too because I absolutely love broccoli. I don't care what people say, it is so good. The kitchen is starting to get nice and dirty, which means we are cooking some goodness up in here. So the last thing I need to do is start to prep everything and get it in the refrigerator. My nail popped off in the middle of this. I don't think I filmed it, but I can see my glue in the corner. Um, I love these nails. If you're looking for really nice manicured pop-on nails, these are my absolute favorite. They're my go-to. So if you wanna check those out, I'll put them down below. But anyway, the way I'm gonna be doing the uh, euros, I'm gonna be putting some of them in these little wraps. They're so much easier to eat. And then the other ones I'm going to put in salad form. I really like the salad form. Instead of using just any old salad dressing, you're just gonna put the tzatziki on. I like the yogurt dip version because it's a little bit thicker. Um, I just think it's really good. You could also make this yourself. I, in hindsight, could have made it myself, but I just felt like it was a lot easier to outsource a couple of these things. I also love to make homemade hummus. You guys know my pumpkin chipotle hummus is like my favorite thing. But again, like it just, I'm not gonna make every single thing from scratch on the first day. Let's see how we like this. And then if we like this, I can expand on it down the road. Since most of our dishes are done, I wanted to head out to the chicken coop. You guys haven't seen the chickens in a while. So I thought we'd come out and give them some lovies. If you wanna say hi to pumpkin or Blanca, Buttercream, Coco Me, all the chickens to give this video a thumbs up. They are all doing really, really well and just such happy little babies. But I wanna come out here and grab their eggs. It's a little hard to film, so I apologize. Um, but we are gonna get these cleaned up and I'm going to boil them for the week ahead. Buttercream is so happy. She's just out there living her best life.
guys, here is everything we prepped. I have my green beans and my broccoli ready to go, nice and crispy. We have some asparagus, eggs. I have my gyro salad and wraps done. This is so good. I have to tell you, this is the first thing that disappeared out of the refrigerator. Here is the Thai lettuce wraps, also super yummy. You can eat that a million different ways. Our bean salad, I call this a taco salad, but there's no beef in it. I didn't feel like adding beef to that. And then here is the hummus plate that I take to work every day. It just has some fresh vegetables in there. And then I had some extra shishitos. I had a little garlic too. And then here is my little uh, cheese and charcuterie plate that's just so yummy. So we are going to get all of this added to the refrigerator. I put a little bit out for the kids to try and just see what they thought. My oldest son really loves to cook with me and loves trying everything. He will, There's nothing he won't try. And he'll tell me if he likes it or it's needs more salt or something like that. But um, I really love that we share that together. And my younger daughters love to do cooking on their own. So that's always fun. They're always making really great uh, meals. And I just got them a little juicer and um, that bullet they've been using to make smoothies. And it's just so great. I love passing down those types of healthy traditions to the kids. We're gonna get everything tucked in here and then we have a big mess to clean. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am going to get to cleaning, but I have so much coming up on this channel. We are redoing every single room in the house. I just finished our brand new remodeled bathroom and the master. I can't wait to show you, so definitely stick around. I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.